magandang araw muli sa inyong lahat. Ito po muli si Maestro Sani para po sa parts and functions of the excretory system. This is quarter number 2 of science grade 6 lesson 4. Okay, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the functions of the excretory system and identify its part. Okay, excretory system is the organ system that is responsible for eliminating waste from the body. Removal of this waste from the body is necessary because they become poisonous when they remain in the body for long. The excretory system works with another system and organs in the body. Body. The lungs is the respiratory system eliminate water, vapor, and carbon dioxide through exhalation. The digestive system removes fat passes by defecation from the large intestine and up, out through the anus. During perspiration, the skin, a part of the integumentary system, excrete sweat from the sweat glands. And the urinary system is a part of the excretory system that collects and eliminates liquid wastes. It consists of the left and the right kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. So this is the excretory system. We have the kidney, the ureter, the urinary urinary bladder, and the urethra connected are the aorta and the interior vena cava the urinary system is a part of the excretory system that collects and eliminates liquid wastes it consists of the left and the right kidney the ureter and the urinary bladder and the urethra the functions of the kidney the kidney regulates the water balance and osmotic pressure of the blood it regulates the pH of the blood kidney removes the poisonous substance like urea and other waste salts and excess water from the blood and excrete them in the form of yellowish liquid known as urine now we have the kidney are the bean shaped organ that are approximately 10 cm long and 5 cm wide They are found near your backbone, one on each side. They are the main excretory organs in the body. They eliminate water, urea, and other waste products in the form of urine, a liquid waste that passes from your, from our body. It is 95% in which the waste products are dissolved. The kidneys should function properly to maintain a healthy life. Blood carries waste products from the different parts of the body to the kidneys through the renal arteries and blood vessels leading to the kidney. Inside the kidneys, the blood passes through filtering units called nephrons, where impurities such as urea, salts, and other toxins are filtered out. Other substances such as water, glucose, and other nutrients are returned to the bloodstream through the renal veins, the blood vessels that carry blood from the kidneys. Now we have the ureters, are the tubes that are approximately 45 cm long each. They carry urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder, a pear-shaped muscular sac located in the pelvis where urine is temporarily stored before elimination from the body it can hold more, more than 2 cups or 473 ml or milliliter of liquid urine flows to the urethra a duct that is approximately 20 cm long in males and 5 cm long in females A ring-shaped muscle around the urethra controls the flow of urine out of the body through contractions. 
Now, we have the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is a pear-shaped res reservoir that stores urine before being discharged to the outside. The urinary bladder is a smooth, collapsible muscular sac that stores urine temporarily. It is located retroperitoneal -peri on the pelvic floor. Just posterior to the pubic symphysis. Symphysis. The prostate part of the male reproductive system lies inferior to the bladder neck, which empties into the urethra. In females, the bladder is an interior to the vag vagina and uterus. Next, we have the urethra. It is a muscular tube that carries, that arises from the neck of the bladder and conducts the urine to the outside through an opening at its end of the urinary opening. Okay, so we have here learning task number one. Identify what is being described. So let us choose the letter of the best answer. So we have this. Another we have learning task number two. Identifying the parts of the urinary stem. And what we have learned, the excretory system of the human beings gather and drains out waste from the body. The human excretory system consists of the pairs of kidneys, the pair of ureters, and urinary bladders and urethra. The waste substances dissolved in the blood are carried to the kidneys for filtration. So we have here the kidney. So it has already been discussed earlier. Then we have the functions of the kidney. Remove nitrogenous waste. Kidneys remove excess of water from the body. Maintains proper pH of blood by removing the excess acids and bases from blood. Men kidneys also maintain proper balance of concentration of salt. It also removes the toxic substance from the blood like urea, uric acid, and ammonia. And it maintains the volume of extracellular fluid. Then we have ureters. It has already been discussed earlier also. The urinary bladder and the urethra. The path of urine through the urinary system from the kidneys, so mutisumla sa kidney through the ureters to the bladder, then from there through the urethra to be expelled from the body. So urine is formed after the process of glomerular filtration in the kidneys. This urine is then conducted through the ureters, twin muscular tube that are connected in the kidneys to the bladder. A storage chamber. The bladder is a muscular chamber that expands as urine spills it. From the bladder, a muscular tube, the urethra connects to the outside for So the urethra, an internal sphincter of the junction of the urethra and bladder. So for urination, the the, the bladder walls contract and the urethra and sphincter muscle relax to allow urine to flow from the urethra. Okay, so another learning task number two. So we have to choose the letter of the correct answer. So do, do this again in your answer sheets. Okay, so this answers for learning task number one for number one the answer is letter D number two is letter D also nephron number three is hemodialysis number four is the urethra and number five the answer is excretion 
So this is the parts of the excavatory system. So we have the aorta, the, the, the blue one here. This is a blood vessel. Then the kidneys, the ureter, the bladder, and the urethra. Then learning test number 3. What is the smallest function, functional component of the human excretory system of the nephron? Where does the urine go from the kidney to the bladder? Then where does the urine get stored before it's pushed out of the body from the bladder? And what tube carries urine outside the body from the bladder? We have the urethra. Then what is what is excretory system? So a system that deals with elimination of metabolic waste. It is a passive biological system that removes excess necessary dangerous materials from organisms. Also help maintain homeostasis or the internal environment balance with organisms and prevent damage of the body. And it helps keep the blood flowing. So, so it is all possible answers, all of the above. <coughs> So with this, please subscribe and now to say thank you for watching my videos.